Welcome back to the TMDSAS podcast, where we'll explore the TMDSAS application in greater detail by connecting you, the applicant, with the admissions experts who are ready to help. I'm your host, Enrique Hasso, Coordinator of Research, Advising Services, and Digital Media at the Texas Health Education Service in the TMDSAS office in Austin, Texas. We're joined today by Dr. Scott Wright. And he is back here to talk to us about a special event going on that's hosted by TMDSAS. So, Dr. Wright, thank you very much for coming back to the podcast. Well, you're welcome, Enrique. I'm very happy to be here again. It's very exciting. It's always nice to join you, of course. Of course. So, <laughs> absolutely. So, we're going to talk about the Texas Med Dent Roundup, um, which is coming up this coming October the 7th. Uh, of October, which is a Saturday, and uh, it's going to be a very exciting event. Um, TMDSS is sponsoring it along with Kaplan and Princeton Review, and uh, it's going to be an opportunity for pre-med and pre-dental students from around the state, from around Texas, to uh, join together with each other to experience uh, some exciting speakers uh, to experience uh, interaction with medical and dental school representatives from not just in Texas, but around the nation. And uh, so that'll be exciting. And some great speakers, And as I said. And, uh, so let me tell you a little bit about the schedule, okay. uh, kind of what's going on during the day. So the schedule of the day kind of looks like this. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, a fantastic speaker. The keynote address for this event is Dr. Jen Arnold. And for those listening to the podcast who don't know who Dr. Jen Arnold is, uh, she is phenomenal. She is featured, along with her husband, on uh, the TLC television show, The Little Couple. You want to do a clip? Let's do a clip. Okay, so we'll do a clip now, and, and then we'll describe her to you. Okay. But it's not always easy. And so you always have to take a step back and say, okay, I've made it this far, but what can I do to do better? And I just like to keep that in mind, I think, as we all are here today to try to strive for our goals and remember what those goals are. But even after you achieve them, the continual improvement is only going to make us better. So that is, I think, a little taste of what you're going to be able to uh, experience Dr. Arnold is a um, dwarf, and she is also a neat, uh, went to uh, medical school at Johns Hopkins and uh, is now and has been for, for a number of years a neonatologist in Houston. And she's going to talk about a variety of things, one of which is how to overcome obstacles. I mean, here is a, a chief, a, a paramount example of somebody who has overcome a lot of obstacles in her life to get to where she is. Right. And not just obstacles in terms of um, like social stigma or physical limitations, but just obstacles in her own mind about what she can or cannot do. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be really exciting to listen to her and for us to take away from what she's saying, um, how can I, in my own life, overcome obstacles when she has done it in such a, a grand way. And if she can do it, then anybody can do it. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And so I'm super excited about um, about the fact that she's going to be here to, uh, to talk to us. Mm -hmm. uh, the other keynote speaker in the afternoon, which I think is going to be equally uh, as exciting, is going to be Dr. Patricia Adesanya, who is went to um, undergrad at UT Austin, mm -hmm. Uh, pre-dental, uh, went on to uh, the Texas A&M Baylor College of Dentistry in Dallas, and uh, she's going to talk about her experience as an African-American young woman and uh, what sh her goals are related to dentistry and underserved communities, and uh, I think it'll be very exciting to see um, how this has played out in her own life and uh, what her goals are you know, related to that. So it's going to be uh, uh, very good as well. Uh, so both speakers will be able to speak well to uh, applicants of the other, on the other side. So absolutely. Dr. Arnold will have a lot of points that will 
apply to dentistry applicants. Absolutely. Vice versa, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think while they're each coming from their own particular professional uh, perspective, I think they're going to be able to address some, some broader issues mm -hmm. that are related to you as a student, regardless of what your goals are, whether it's medicine. So mm -hmm. that'll be cool. The other thing I, I wanted to really point out is in the morning, we're going to have some breakout sessions that are specific to where a student is at in their own journey. Mm -hmm. So for, for example, we'll have a uh, session just for freshmen. Uh, so what, what are you doing as a freshman? What can you do as a freshman? Uh, that's going to be Dr. Uh, Judy Ann Kellaway from the uh, Long Medical School at, at us in San Antonio. So that'll be fantastic. Uh, she's a, an, an enormously uh, great speaker. Yeah. She's, she's really great. She's actually been on the podcast already. Yeah, she's fantastic. There'll also be a, a breakout session for sophomores, uh, for juniors uh, who are preparing to uh, apply. And then for seniors who are in the process of applying and interviewing. And then there'll be a, a whole session just for non-traditional students. Mm -hmm. So students who don't fit into any of those categories, maybe second career people who are going back to, to school, second career people who are going back to school. Uh, maybe uh, it, it, it could be, um, you know, really older uh, adults who are, you know, re really interested in going into medicine or dentistry, uh, older adults you know, who are interested in going into medicine or dentistry. So it, it'll be really, uh, the, I think the morning session is going to be pretty exciting. Um, and then the afternoon session, the breakout sessions are all about um, the uh, top, are they're, they're all topical. So I'll give you some examples of some of the afternoon sessions that we're going to have. How to identify and set up shadowing experiences while you're in college. Mm -hmm. uh, how to do, how to deal with stress both while you're in uh, your undergraduate experience and, and also in medical school or dentist yeah. or dental school. Um, how to, uh, how to think about the personal characteristics and how do medical schools utilize those personal characteristics in the admissions process. Uh, Fila Maldonado, the, the uh, admissions dean at Texas A&M University Medical School is going to be doing that program and he is really uh, on the forefront of what's called holistic review in the ad admissions process. So that'll be fantastic. There'll be sessions on the MCAT and on the DAT. Uh, there'll be uh, student panels uh, of dental school students or medical school students. Uh, also, what do I do during the summer? So maybe you're a freshman or a sophomore and you think, well, I've got my summer to, uh, to, do, to do whatever I want to with. Um, what are some opportunities? And so that'll be uh, also a very good uh, session. So these are all going to be really cool. And there'll be two slots. So you, you'll be able to choose one, mm -hmm. the first slot, uh, and then one, a uh, different one, the second slot, uh, time slot. So that'll be, that's going to be pretty cool as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And what other features can we expect at the MedDen Roundup? So there'll be opportunity for you to... Uh, interact with the admissions officers at their tables. So we'll have like a big table fair of uh, medical and dental schools from around, certainly around Texas. And, and we will have some national schools there as well. And uh, you'll be able to go up to the, the table and talk to the admissions officer about their school, about how to get in and how to highlight yourself in the process. You know, some things. So real personal interaction, not just sitting in the crowd listening to a speaker, but actually direct personal contact with some of these people. So that'll be really uh, also, I think, very cool. Um, there'll be um, the other thing is there's going to be some really cool prizes. Ooh. So uh, at the end of the day, um, there'll be a wrap up session where we'll have a student panel mm -hmm. and the, the, really the focus of that wrap up session is what do I do with all this information I've gotten today? Yeah. Uh, what, what can it mean to me? How can I, um, integrate it into my life and my journey and stuff to, to benefit me and to, to help me and, and to make me successful? Uh, and at that session, at the end of that session, uh, we'll be giving out some, some pretty cool prizes. Uh, so there'll, there'll be MCAT and DAT courses. 
which that's a significant uh, prize, yeah. uh, both from Kaplan and Princeton Review. Uh, there'll be books, there'll be uh, T-shirts and stuff that we'll be giving away. In addition to, I'm not going to mention what they are, but some other pretty cool things. Ooh. So this is really to encourage the students to hang around all day. Right. The day starts at 8 a.m., goes until 5 p.m., so it's a whole day. On that Saturday. So it'll be pretty cool. So a lot of prizes. And I need to mention also, this is a free event. You don't have to pay anything to come to it. Uh, it is, uh, and it also should mention, we're doing this in San Marcos, Texas, uh, which um, if, the, if the students don't know where that is, it's just uh, really pretty much halfway between uh, Austin and San Antonio mm-hmm. on, on I-35. So it's very easy to get to. Yeah. Uh, students that are traveling on cars or buses or vans or whatever, uh, easy to get to on, on I-35 uh, from north and south. And then from east or west, it's not uh, that difficult either uh, through, uh, through San Antonio or uh, if you're coming from Houston, for example, or uh, even West Texas. Uh, airlines, if they're, they're going to fly, can fly either into Austin or San Antonio. Yeah. Pretty easy to do that. San Marcos is a great uh, place. Uh, the event center is the Embassy Suites Conference Center of San Marcos, which is literally a stone's throw from this enormous shopping venue, mm-hmm. uh, the outlet malls of San Marcos. Yep. And there's got to be 900 jillion <laughs> of, these sh- of these stores. There are also some other cool uh, cool opportunities in San Marcos. You can float the San Marcos River mm-hmm. while you're there. So what I would encourage students to do is to think about making it a whole weekend yeah. and uh, hang around. We'll have a room block at the Embassy Suites. So if you want to spend the night, uh, you can do that. There's free breakfast that morning. We'll have free parking available for the for the students. Uh, so that'll be that'll be pretty cool. Um, so it's going to be a, a, a really worthwhile event for students uh, to, to maybe make a whole weekend of it, uh, to you know get together with a bunch of your friends. We encourage advisors to put together groups of students. We're really encouraging also advisors to come. I think it'll be great information for advisors and uh, bring your kids and uh, experience the whole uh, of Central Texas and the uh, Hill Country and San Marcos. So it'll be pretty awesome. So the event is for college students, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, non-traditional applicants, yep. and advisors. Yeah, absolutely. And it's free to everybody. And so that's another cool thing. Through the support of TMDSAS, as well as Kaplan and Prince Review, uh, there will also be food. And I know students love free food. <laughs> so free breakfast, free lunch, uh, some break time things. And so I think uh, it's going to be a fantastic uh, day for students to come and, and really experience some some cool stuff. Neat. Yeah. And uh, there's also another event going on the day before, is that right? Yeah, the day before we're going to have a event specifically focused on JAMP, the Joint Admissions Medical Program. And this is for freshmen in college. And we'll also be uh, reaching out to a, a lot of high school students to come and hear about JAMP, what JAMP is all about, uh, to hear some speakers about how to be a successful JAMP student, uh, Jam- how to be a successful JAMP student. Uh, and uh, just a lot of information. A lot of people from around the state that are heavily involved in JAMP will be speaking. Uh, so I think it'll also be a really nice event for uh, for students to, to come to uh, on that Friday. And so that that Friday event for, for JAMP is, uh, starts in the morning and uh, gets over right around uh, 3 or 4 o'clock. So mm-hmm. it'll be a pretty, uh, pretty cool event also. Yeah, and that one's only for high school seniors, college freshmen. That's right. And advisors. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. All right. Well, uh, where can we get registered for this event? So you'll be able to register at www.tmdsas.com or also at www.texasjamp.org. So either of those places, uh, there'll be a link and you'll be able to register for the event. And uh, registration is mainly just so we'll we'll know how many are coming uh, to prepare for uh, uh, 
the food and, and also the uh, size of rooms that we need, et cetera. So again, there's no uh, registration fee or anything. I also want to plug that the Texas Med Den Roundup is also on Facebook at facebook.com slash meddentroundup and on Twitter at meddentroundup. That's great. I think uh, uh, this is one of the more exciting opportunities that I think Texas pre-med and pre-dent students have had uh, in, in really a long time. Uh, there are some regional opportunities, uh, particularly at certain um, institutions where they have some some small scale things like this. But and so this is really exciting. I think not only because there's a lot of information and that there's going to be a lot of um, fantastic speakers, but also because you're going to be able to interact with pre-med and pre-dent students from all kinds of different locations in Texas, different undergraduate institutions. Um, so that's really exciting to get a sense of you're in this with a lot of people who are also very excited about it. And uh, that interaction can be so uh, empowering, I think. All right. Well, Dr. Wright, thank you very much for coming by and telling us about the Roundup. Absolutely. And I'm uh, anxious to see everybody there October 7th, 2017, San Marcos, Texas. See you there. All right. Bye-bye. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you listen to podcasts to stay up to date with us. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash TMDSAS and at Twitter at TMDSAS and at TMDSAS support. On behalf of TMDSAS, we want to wish all our applicants for the 2018 cycle all the best of luck. Thank you very much for listening. We'll talk to you later.